two, three, four, I declare a clone war. Man, each episode has gotten darker and darker by the mo minute. And I believe this is like this, the big Mandalorian conflict that's been going on, and it's directly leading into the eventual Order 66. Because where we last left off, Maul had Ahsoka cornered, and he basically, he does know what Order 66 is, and he's constantly, throughout this episode, referring to it. He knows what it is. He reveals who, he reveals that the other Sith is Darth Sidious, which he doesn't, he doesn't reveal it's Palpatine, but what happens also is that a Maul escapes, big whoop de frickin' do, and when they go to... Well, yeah, Ahsoka escapes with the help of the clones and the Mandalore. Actually, it's just the clones, because the Mandalorians have already gone to work to getting rid of getting rid of the Almec, who is um, Maul's pawn. And when they go back to like the throne room, basically, they're talking to Obi-Wan Kenobi via hologram, and he reveals that Anakin killed Count Dooku, and that he's going to be going off. He can't help with the Mandalore conflict because he has to go kill Grievous. And when Ahsoka asks why can't Anakin come to our aid, Obi-Wan privately tells her about Anakin spying on the Chancellor. And Maul has Maul has always been a paranoid individual, but now he gets he's like he's talking to himself even more than he does did in the original the regular Clone War show, and he's rallying his Mandalorians to basically go to war with the other Mandalorians on the surface. But he sends, um, I think his name was Saxon, he sends Saxon to go kill Almec because he Al Almec has, knows too much. And, Almec, and Saxon does shoot Almec before reveal, but Almec is alive at long enough to tell Ahsoka that Maul has been having visions of Skywalker. And Dirk Bo Katine chases after all not all my Saxon and whoop de doo escapes. That's a that's a whole bunch of the Clone Wars, just a bunch of escaping. And Bo Katan, Rex, and Ahsoka organize um, like getting the Mandalorian citizens to shelter to safety because there's going to be a big battle and in the throne room is Maul. So, and things are going down, Maul's troops are attacking the city, so the Elf Mandalorians and the clones go to face Maul's troops, at leaving Maul and Ahsoka alone. And he reveals that, how much he knows, he reveals about Darth Sidious behind the schemes, he reveals, like, the clones are part of this plot, and he says he originally started this war at Mandalore to bring Obi-Wan here, because he wanted to convince Obi-Wan to kill Anakin, because Maul does know that Sidious has been grooming Anakin to become his new apprentice, and he offers Ahsoka, he says, join me and we'll kill Sidious. But when Ahsoka learns from Maul that Skywalker is being groomed, she doesn't believe in the two of this epic fight, and we're cutting away from that fight to the fight on Mandalore, and Maul's gonna just abandon them all. He, there's a ship waiting for him, but and Ahsoka almost, is almost down for the count. All her, both lightsabers are knocked away from her. But she, Maul falls, and she supports him with the Force for the clone troopers to arrive and stun him. But he's screaming, you're all dead, you're all dead, you don't know what you're doing. And it ends just there. And that is, this, it, even how it opens, it doesn't have the Star Wars theme, it doesn't have the Clone Wars theme, and the credits don't have the traditional Clone Wars credits. It's just like this dark, ominous ambiance, and I am so excited. I know I'm behind. I know at this moment, I think one or two more episodes have already been released, but I am stoked because where we are, we're really close to when Order 66 is announced because we already know Kenobi's going to see Grievous. I just had a little display up here. It fell down. Um, you can't see it anyway, so whatever. I... This is an incredible show. This is Star Wars. Like this is what I wanted Star Wars to be. Like Force Awakens, when it came out, it was fun. But I've noticed as I've seen the new Disney films, there's like just it's like a loss of suspense, a loss of fun in a way. It's just kind of. But this, I I'm more on the edge of my seat watching the seventh season of Clone Wars than I ever was any of the three movies from the new sequel trilogy, or Rogue One or Solo. This is just 
really well done. I believe Dave Filoni is still a part of this. I, I mean, if he wasn't, it's still good, but I imagine he is. I am so excited, guys. I know I'm, I'm a broken record, but I really cannot wait till this next episode. So that's it for now. I believe this episode is called The Phantom Apprentice, which is pretty cool. And I will see you guys in the next Clone Wars episode. As you can tell, I'm, I'm still having a little trouble breathing, but uh, my sickness, like last episode, I apologize for being out of it. I was just like really, really not feeling well. But I, uh, this episode raised my spirits, and it can only get better or worse from here, worse for our characters, all right? I'll see you guys later. Everyone still stay stay. <laughs> Everyone still stay safe. All right. May the force be with you.